Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Michael Essien, Asamoah Jan, Tony Eboa, Sule Muntari, Kevin Prince Boating, Jordan Ayu, and Andre Ayu. This is the company in which Thomas Party finds himself in now after making that switch from Atletico Madrid to Arsenal. Ghanaian players who have played in the Premier League and done amazingly well. Today, we're going to explore uh, whether Thomas Party uh, can be a success at Arsenal. As usual, subscribe if you haven't, uh, click on the notification bell uh, to get more updates. I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. So, after the switch from Atletico Madrid to Arsenal, after the euphoria, the excitement, and everything, it will calm down uh, to what he does on the pitch, whether he can deliver as anticipated by Arsenal fans. So we are all excited right now, but there is a question I'm sure you've asked yourself as to whether he will fit in nicely into the Premier League, whether he will be a success at Arsenal. Before we look at that even further, first of all, let's not compare him uh, to anyone. He is a man unique on his own rights. I've heard comparisons between Thomas Partey and Michael Essien. That will not give us the true picture of everything. That will not help us uh, to appreciate the kind of player uh, we are looking at here. Comparison is in the main aim of this video. Let's look at the man himself, Thomas Teipati. He is an undoubted hard worker. Uh, 2011, since joining uh, the youth ranks of Atletico Madrid, he had to work his way tirelessly uh, to the top. Uh, not until 2015 was he a regular after that Champions League final in 2014 where he made a substitute appearance, made a regular place for himself at the back end of 2015 where he became a cog in Diego Simeone's side. To be a player or a cog in Diego Simeone's team, uh, you have to be an extreme hard worker and uh, being a favorite of the Argentine goes to say a lot about the player. Back in August this year, a Black Stars coach CK Akono advised Thomas Partey not to join Arsenal and his reasons were simple. Honestly, this is what he said. I wouldn't want him to move to Arsenal because with Atletico, he will always play Champions League football and with Champions League football comes the big backs and comes uh, the big exposure. Uh, playing at the highest stage in European uh, football. Yes, the Gunners will not give him that, uh, but Thomas Partey has done himself a world of good by joining the English Premier League. Uh, the league considered uh, to be the best in the world. This is the best grounds to challenge himself on his ability and what he can do with all the eyeballs on him, with all this scrutiny on him. But what is success for Arsenal? What will you consider success if you are judging Thomas Partey's performance at the end of his Arsenal career? It's quite clear that success for a team like Arsenal is relative. Arsenal finished their worst position in over 20 years last season by finishing 8th. However, they won some cup competitions in the FA Cup and in the Community Shield, which gave many people hope about the tenure of Mikel Arteta. Uh, with Thomas Partey, uh, they have a player the fans have been crying for since the time of players uh, like Patrick Vieira and Gilberto Silva. Uh, they were the, the shields, the hard, tough tackling boys in the midfield. Over the years, Arsenal have been accused of having a soft underbelly uh, because they have lacked this kind of character in their midfield uh, for a very, very uh, long uh, time. But now they do have Thomas Partey, who, according to whoscore.com, uh, averaged the highest dribble rates in Europe among the midfielders. He was ranked in the top 10 midfielders in the world. He had an 88.3% of his dribbles uh, successful. There is one thing for sure. Thomas Partey is a hard worker. He will work hard and he will be sure uh, to give Arsenal as all. Arsenal 
and you know all the title winning sides have had it manchester city uh, they have fernandino who forms a shield of source uh, to the back four manchester united had it in roy Keane some time back uh, chelsea had it in claude makalele and michael essien it is quite clear that the kind of player arsenal do need is this one uh, they really do need some bite in that midfield and for sure uh, they have got it in thomas uh, te party on the 17th of october when arsenal take on manchester city uh, we will see the Ghanaian uh, for the very first time in action and we will be able to judge or give a better assessment whether he can lead arsenal uh, to success uh, depends on how you will define success as i said a success for arsenal this season um, winning the premier league surely not because he might uh, have to be giving some leeway with how things go at the Gunners. Uh, but this is a major major move for arsenal this is a team sport and to place the success of a team on the signing of one person uh, is a tall order he will bring some changes uh, but it will, will it be as radical as we all want uh, for arsenal right now the setup is a three back uh, with two central midfielders in uh, danny ceballos and granite chaka one of them will be sacrificed uh, for the amazing thomas party uh, to fit in there nicely whether he will fit into arsenal style of play is another matter altogether but he is a hard worker he is a proven player at the topmost level and thomas party uh, will be amazing a success for arsenal getting a top four position yes getting back into the champions league will be the main objective uh, for arsenal and Mikel arteta this season and they will not leave anything to chance uh, with this imperative goal will he be successful will he lead arsenal to a lot of trophies well unless you have the magic eight ball or a crystal ball that can tell you the future your guess is as good as mine but one thing is for sure he will give his all he will give 110 percent or even more thomas party is a sensational signing for the gunners and i'm optimistic that he will be an immense success at arsenal i am not psychic or clairvoyant but i am hopeful and that he will prove doubters wrong and he will be worth every penny arsenal splashed on him let me know your thoughts in the comments box on whether you think thomas party will be a success what do you think about his signing and will he be the man to take arsenal to the next level i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day